Hey friends, good morning. It is Wednesday and we're gonna do a day in the life vlog today. The kids are finally feeling better from being sick. Um, if you saw the grocery haul that I filmed, I think that was Friday, um, the kids had woken up like not feeling well, like runny noses and sore throats. So we didn't even get to go to karate Friday night. Um, and they've been kind of like blah all weekend and today's Wednesday, they're finally feeling better. So, we have plans today to go to the kid assignment sale. That's something that happens around where I live. It's at the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds here in Georgia. And it's big, and it's been happening, I think, since 2001. It's been going on for years. I've been shopping their sales ever since Lily was a baby, I think. I think that was the first year I went, was when she was a baby. So I've been shopping there for like eight years. Um, they do a sale in the spring and a sale in the fall, so today we'll be going to the fall sale and hopefully finding the kids some clothes for fall and winter. Um, it's just after 10 here. We got up at 9 this morning. We finished watching the movie Mighty Joe Young. That was a favorite when I was a kid. Um, I had a friend who like literally wore out the VHS because he watched it so many times. Um, we, we loved that movie. And so I showed that to the kids last night we didn't finish watching it though so we just finished that up this morning and i think they enjoyed it we also watched free willy the other day i'm just showing them like a bunch of movies that i watched as a kid and it's been really fun so that's what we've been doing on our summer break is watching movies and stuff just hanging out so i'm gonna go ahead and make our breakfast we're just having something that i've shown before so i'll show the finished product the kids picked the caramel apple yogurt that I've shown and then I'm gonna do the kefir with granola and stuff that I showed last week so I will link that video down below if you want to know exactly how I make it okay here is breakfast so there's a Greek yogurt under there then they have some granola apple and then caramel and I didn't have any of the like caramel dip so I just used the Hershey's caramel syrup they prefer it more with the dip but use what you have so that's what we're using today and then I have my kefir the only difference between this and the one that I made last week is today I used the strawberry that I picked up at Walmart last week and I definitely prefer it more with the plain one when I do the strawberry one since it is sweetened I don't use maple syrup but I do really like the flavor of the maple syrup so um, I'd prefer to just have the plain kefir next time which that's what Aldi carries, so next week I'll be buying the plain one and then just adding a little bit of maple syrup to it. Okay, so the plan is to get out of the house as early as possible this morning. It's about to be 11, so hopefully in the next like 15 minutes we can leave. I'm just gonna, like maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup. Um, not too much because I don't wanna like sweat it off. The air conditioning in like the building at the fairgrounds isn't, um, great like the greatest like there is air in there but it's this like big steel bu building and i feel like it's always somewhat warm in there so right now i'm just putting on some sunscreen it's also my moisturizer it's the same one i showed last time the cerave facial moisturizing lotion the am one so just getting some of that on um i do have a couple things i need the kids to try on first before we go like their winter jackets to see if they need new winter jackets i meant to do this like the other day but with them being sick like i forgot to pull that stuff out so i'm just gonna have them try on a few things make sure that they fit um i'm really just gonna leave with the sunscreen i just put on i think i'm gonna brush through my eyebrows with the control freak eyebrow gel not gonna do any eyebrow pencil today it's not supposed to be as hot today as it has been the last few days. We were under a... What the heck is my computer doing? Hello? That was weird. Like, part of the light that's lighting up my face right now is my computer. So that's why it was, like, flickering. I don't remember what I was saying. Um, oh, I was saying it's not supposed to be as hot today as it has been the last few days. We were under a heat advisory. Um, the heat index was like 105 or 108 or something. It says today the high is only like 87. So it'll probably actually feel a little bit hotter. But that's much better than the last few days. 
um, the plan, the reason we want to go so early to the thing is because the kids want to get probably McDonald's for lunch afterwards. So they want to make sure we're out of there by the time they get hungry. I'm also going to make them pack a snack um, because kids can get whiny when they're hungry. But there'll be lots of stuff for the kids to look at. I think they plan on taking their own money to see if there's any toys they want to buy. Lily specifically wants a baby alive doll. So we will see what we can find. It's day three of the sale. Technically probably it's actually day four because on Sunday they did like a preview sale for anybody who was selling their stuff. They could go in there and buy what they wanted. And then Monday was opening day for the public. Then there was Tuesday and now Wednesday and everything with a tag on it that doesn't have an NR. NR means not reduced. Everything else will be 25% off today. So that's why I chose today to go. And then the sale runs through Saturday. So if you're seeing this video on Friday, you still have time to go. If you live near me, it'll be, I think like 40 something percent off on Friday and then 50% off on Saturday. I went in there once on a Saturday and I will never do that again. It was crazy. I did find some good deals, but it was, it was too nuts for me. I will not try to go in there on a Saturday again. But that's it for makeup today. Got on a little bit of lip gloss. Super simple. Um, I'm gonna leave my hair down right now. I did just brush it. I brush my hair, brush my teeth, put on deodorant, got dressed. Um, I'm gonna take this hair clip though, so that when I do get hot, I can put it up. Um, I said I got dressed. This shirt, it's so cute. It's from Amazon. My aunt got it for me off my wish list for my birthday. So, that's what I'm wearing today. Just that with some bike shorts. Um, you gotta throw on probably some, some uh, like fake Birkenstocks and call that my outfit. Get the kids in here to get their shoes on and we'll be heading out here real soon. Elijah's finishing up the video games that he's playing, but Lily just went ahead and tried on her jacket, which still fits really good. It has feathers. It is a down jacket. Um, I can't remember the brand on it. If you take it off, we can look at it. But we got this at the thrift store last year and it's a very nice quality jacket. It might be Land's End like Elijah's. Elijah's is I know I Elijah's is Land's End. Yeah. It is Land's End? Yeah. But Lily's is down filled, so it's nice and warm. And Elijah's isn't, but it's still a really good quality jacket. He's going to come try his on here in a minute. If this still fits Elijah, which I think it will, this will be the third winter that he's had this jacket. It has lasted him a while. And we got this at the thrift store. Nice quality jackets, second hand. Oh, it's it, hot. It, it is hot with a jacket on. What? How does it fit? Can you zip it? I'm hot. <laughs> oh, you did not zip that correct. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you do it, can you lift your arms up in it? Make sure it's not too tight on your arms. Yeah, I think you're good. It also, this jacket, from Land's End, it has this grow grow along. So will it focus on it? Um, where you can let out the hem inside on the sleeves, and it makes them uh, one and a half inch longer for sleeves. And I just looked, and they haven't been let out. So he's still got some arm length on there. As long as it fits him around the waist, then uh, he's got a jacket good for a while. Okay, it is 
3.30. We've been gone since 11.30. As you saw, we did some shopping. We went to McDonald's and we ate lunch. And now we are home. And we spent like two and a half hours shopping. Um, that's shopping and checking out. Because checkout process takes a little bit. But we did it. We got some stuff. We ended up spending $142 on everything. But the kids spent some of their own money. So I was going to let them show you what they got first. Lily. This is my new baby alive. Mm -hmm. She's been saving money uh, for weeks for a baby alive and they're expensive and we found this one today. This one is old. It's, she's an old baby. Alive. She's an older one. Um, and they're like at least $40 or not or more. And you paid $6 I think for it? Yeah. Yeah. She needs her hair brushed but she's she clean and a she has a diaper on she drinks water and she's a crawling one so we got to put some batteries in her hopefully she works but it's not like that much of a loss it was six dollars and i think 25 percent off so that's what lily got and that's all you got right yeah. for your own money elijah picked two things Wait, no. oh your jewelry box she also picked this $5 jewelry box, which was also 25% off. It says, ooh, it says Abby on the top, but I told her, I was like, you can get it if you like it and you can paint it. It's got drawers. She can put her earrings and stuff in there. One's upside down. Yeah, one's upside down. The lady who rang us up. She was like, I don't think I put them in there, right? But it's also got one of the little things where you can hang your necklaces and spins. So she liked that, so she wanted to spend her own money on that. So that's what Lily got. And then Elijah, you want to show him what you got? He's got one thing in his hand. I'll get your other thing out. You can go play video games with friends. That's fine. You want to show him? <laughs> what is it? A box. A box. Where's the key? Your bony knees. Your bony shins. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> you're so bony. <laughs> You get it? I oh, need that hand. It's a little, little tiny lock box. He'd been wanting something that he could lock, and it's cute. It's just got a little handle. Um, you can't fit much in it, but it's also got. I think it's supposed to be like a piggy bank. It's got a little slot to put coins. So he paid two dollars, and it was twenty-five percent off. So two dollars for that, and then a brand new Lego set. This one has been on his wish list for a while the box from minecraft and it was 18 dollars not reduced so he did spend about 20 dollars today and got some cool things for himself and now, I want to build that. now you want to build it can i finish what i'm doing and then you can build it yeah you want to go play video games with friends for a little bit with sissy and i'm going to show them the rest of the stuff that we got put your key in a safe place I don't not know. inside the box if you're locking it. No, I'm probably getting uh, my keychain, but I don't know where it is. Oh, okay. Well, put it in a safe. That's not safe. Okay. Put it on the red shelf in the kitchen. And I won't. And I will help you find a keychain for it later. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. So we got some books. We got the best Christmas pageant ever. I'm pretty sure this was a book that was recommended at some point. Um, it was a dollar, so I bought it. And then we got, it started with pizza, variables, expressions, and equations. It's just like a math book, a fun math book. It was $2 and it was 25% off. Um, Lily picked this one, it's called The Little, Littles, it's similar to like The Borrowers. I've never read them um these books i've read some of the borrowers and seen the movie but it's you know little people uh so she got this for a dollar fifty mostly because the littles are interacting with a cat and then she also whoa throw it across the room picked up getting to know nature's children and it's lions on the front and pandas on the back so it's like two books in one looks like I don't know. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And I have no idea how much this is because they completely removed the sticker from it. And then I got the Usborne Internet Linked Encyclopedia of World Geography. This was $5 not reduced. I love these Usborne books. Uh, the Internet Linked ones. We have like the his the World History book. 
um, and there's like internet links for like every single page that can go into more detail and so yeah we didn't have this when I picked that one up Lily found who wants Arthur this was a dollar fifty it looks like it's a story about a very ordinary dog named Arthur so got that and then I found this set it was 25% off it's for cursive practice I have like one dry erase book I think <coughs> rude rude there's people outside doing yard work and so i think that's what he's barking at but i have one book i think that's like a dry erase book for cursive practice but both of the kids will be doing some cursive practice so i got this it's leapfrog cursive dry erase practice um yeah upper and lower case and it also comes with like an additional like board so the book is dry erase and then it also has another like little couple little dry erase boards looks like there's two so yeah that was 25% off of four dollars and then this game was 650 I've had this on my Amazon wish list for a while it's a peaceable kingdom game which most of the time these are cooperative games yeah a cooperative game for kids so you're like working together as a team and this one is friends and neighbors the helping game it says encourage your child's empathy compassion and cooperation and it's really just three and up but I thought it would still be good for my kids. One to four players, and it doesn't take very long. So it's like 10, a 10 minute game. So there is that. And then we love the guests in 10 games. We have like Countries of the World and the Animals one. I think that's it. But we found Deadly Dinosaurs for 25% off of $6. These are usually like 10 to $15 each. So six is pretty good. And then we found a bingo game. We have the Parts of Speech Bingo. Rude. I'm going to have to keep him in my lap to make him be quiet. We found Telling Time Bingo so the kids can work on their telling time skills. They're both pretty good at it, but it's just a fun way to practice something like that. All right, and that is it for non-clothes or shoes. We did not find any shoes for Lily. She is a little bit picky about her shoes but also she has wide feet and so it's hard to find things that fit her properly that she likes so used shoes are pretty much a no for her at this point in time but we did find some stuff for elijah these are both old navy shoes both of them look like they were barely ever worn um so he got these ones they're like high tops gray and black and these were 25 percent off of six dollars and then he found these camo ones also from Old Navy look like they, they've actually never been worn they have paper in them still um, and these were 25% off of four dollars so he's got two new shoes now everything else we got is clothes and there's a lot of it we took the wagon with us and it's mostly full let's see move it out of the way all right starting here we got some jeans for Elijah. These are Old Navy brand. They were $5.50, just a dark wash jean. And then we found these, I think these are Jimboree. Yeah, Jimboree brand. I don't remember the price on these because it's not on here anymore. But yeah, I think they were like five. And these I think were 25% off nice like cargo pants khaki colored cargo pants and all of them have adjustable waist which is really good for elijah because he's getting long but he's still like very skinny do all of elijah's stuff first oh everything's falling off hangers and whatnot the one thing that i don't like about consignments is having to take everything off the hangers and take the safety pins and everything off that's a lot of work like see there's an open safety pin here all right, this is some more Old Navy straight jeans. The, the waist in these was taken in a lot. It's got those adjustable waistband. These were uh, 350 and then 25% off. Nice little skinny jeans for him. And then he found some like dark green sweatpants. They're like sweat cargo pants, they have pockets. Um, and these were 25% off of five. And I think these, what brand are these? Sonoma, so those are like 
Kohl's, I think. And then the next one is like a set. It's a Gap, like little lightweight hoodie. And then some, what are these? All in Motion, I think that's Target. All in Motion pants, like little joggers, nice lightweight joggers with zippers on the pockets. And this whole set was $5 and then 25% off. And he liked all of it. The pants feel really nice and comfortable. All right, I think everything we have left is tops. So we of course found a Minecraft long sleeve shirt for 25% off of $2. And then an Old Navy thermal for 25% off of $4 in this camo color. And then this is Old Navy like active. Uh, and this was $3.50. He likes the way these like dry fit material shirts feel. So we got that one. And then just a plain gray top for 25% off of $3.50. That's Wonder Nation. And then this one, a Cat and Jack, so Target for 25% off of $3.50. Purple and blue. Rex is very interested in the smells of all this clothing. Um, this is a hoodie from Target, Cat and Jack, just green, which is his favorite color. He really wanted a hoodie that wasn't like a zip up. Um, and this was 25% off of $6. And then another Old Navy thermal for 25% off of $3. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it for Elijah's stuff. <laughs> All right, Lily got this messy bun just chillin brand cropped hoodie with dinosaurs all over it so that's really cute and it was 25% off of five she got some old navy leggings for 25% off of three dollars black and white like square checkered print kind of thing all right we found some cat and jack brand joggers just gray They've got a, like a little cuffed hem at the bottom. And these were 25% off of 250. Some Christmas stuff for her to wear. These were 25% off of $4. Some little Christmas leggings. And then this dress was 25% off of 250. Just lots of cute little Santas all over it. some more Old Navy leggings. These ones were 25% off of three. Just nice. And then she actually found some jeans, but they're like jeggings. She hates the feel like, it's not even like just the buttons and zippers anymore. She doesn't like how stiff like denim is. So we found these, I think these are Cat and Jack. No. Crown and Ivy. I don't know where Crown and Ivy is from, but they are nice. They're stretchy and soft, and these were 25% off of five. Nice, long, skinny jeans. All right, and then she has this Arizona Jean Company shirt. This was 25% off of three, and it has sparkly unicorn on it. And then just a plain Justice brand long sleeve shirt for 25% off of four. Another Arizona Jeans Company shirt. This one has a star on it and it was 25% off of three. A little tie dye sweatshirt from Dreamsicle Kids for 25% off of four. And then a Cat and Jack dress for 25% off of three. And it has unicorns on it, which are her favorite. So that is everything we got today. As I said, the total of everything, including what the kids bought for themselves was $142, which we got a lot of clothes games and shoes and stuff I think we did pretty good for what we got the kids are stocked up they have a good start to their 
fall and winter wardrobe. I know we'll have to get more, but we'll fill in with stuff at the thrift store. They also do have some stuff that fit them from last year. I know most of these pants I think that we bought for Elijah will be too big right now. Um, so he'll be still wearing his like size sevens from last year. He's got a bunch of jeans. Um, and then those are, that's a good start for when he starts moving into the bigger size, which I mean, once it gets cold, he might already need that bigger size. So that's why I went ahead and bought them. So yeah, I'm going to take 10, 15 minutes and just relax. And then I have got to do something about this house. Uh, definitely need to get some cleaning done. So I'm gonna take a little break and then I'll show you what all I need to get done. Okay, Elijah has started working on his Lego set. So he's doing that. Lily is playing Minecraft with friends with her baby sitting next to her in her high chair <laughs> and I am gonna work on cleaning for a little bit it's 4 15 so I took a little bit of a break scrolled TikTok for a little bit and just sat on the couch and finished my coke zero from McDonald's um but let me let me turn this around and show you what I need to work on there is dishes um I need to unload the dishwasher and then you know do the rest of the dishes I didn't do the dishes last night um, I want to try to take the tags and everything off these clothes and need to wash those. And then I have, um, clothes in the washer that need to go in the dryer and then clothes in the laundry basket that need to be washed. And then I'll worry about washing this stuff. But if I could at least get this in the dirty clothes, all the tags and crap taken off of it. And then this shelf is like out of whack it's like blocking that closet over there some because the other day we had some trouble with our air conditioner. My brother had to come work on that. So I need to put things back where they go. Fix the shelf and then that ottoman doesn't go there. We've been keeping this table that we usually use for parties. We've been keeping up against the wall and then the kids can look at books or draw or whatever there. So that needs to go back over there. Currently it's piled with books and things that have been bought and the jackets they tried on this morning. Uh, the couch is a wreck. Just, just the living room is just a wreck. The wagon needs to go to the van. It's just a mess in here. So I think I'm gonna start with the living room. I'm gonna turn on some music, probably do the laundry and then start working on this.
It is 6.20. I've been done with like cleaning up and everything since like 5.40. Just been hanging out, taking a little bit of a break. But now I need to work on dinner. Tonight for dinner, we are having chicken enchiladas. I actually made a bunch of chicken last night in the crock pot. So that's easy. The chicken's already done. About to just like fry up some corn tortillas, roll everything up, and get it in the oven. Hi. Molly's baby's all dressed up. We fixed her hair. She loves purple and she is a picky eater oh. and a messy eater. Turns out we changed her batteries and she doesn't actually work but Lily still loves her. And Elijah put together his Lego set. It's a cool little fox building. You turn it around right and there's a little house so inside. Cool. I like to be the ground and eat the cake. <laughs> and these two Yeah come off so that you can just play in it easier. Very cool. You did a great job building it all by yourself. Okay, here is our finished dinner. We've got chicken enchiladas, salsa, guacamole, and chips. And just me and the kids are eating right now. Andy did come home while I was making dinner and he is not hungry right now. So he will eat later. But we have a ton of enchiladas. I used all of the chicken that I had left over and it made this full nine by 13. And then this little one, and so Andy will probably eat most of what's left in this one. And then we can have this tomorrow for lunch. After dinner, we just kind of hung out for a little bit. And then at about eight o'clock, I got the kitchen cleaned up. I put a plate of the enchiladas in the microwave for Andy for when he was ready to eat. And then the other like little casserole dish I just threw in the fridge for lunch the next day. And then I got all of the dishes done and in the dishwasher so that we could get that started. And then Andy, all he had to do was rinse his plate and throw it in there. At the end of the night, we just kind of hung out for a little bit before the kids went to bed. They played with their new toys for a while. And then after the kids went to bed, Andy and I played some Fall Guys and watched some more of Manifest. We are nearing the end of season two now and we really like it. Um, well, Andy, Andy doesn't love it so much. He says it feels like a, like a cop show. And I, I mean, I like cop shows. I used to watch like CSI like all the time. So that doesn't bother me one bit, but in that aspect of it, I can see how it's not his favorite show. He likes mystery and stuff like that, but he doesn't really like cop shows. So we still do like it though. He's like invested now and wants to see where it goes. While I was doing the dishes this night, um, once I finished, I also filled up the water container for the fridge and then also made some cold brew. I've been really slacking on making cold brew lately, but I went ahead and did it this night and I was glad that I did because then I didn't have to buy Stoke cold brew at the grocery store. While I was doing all this, I was also listening to a new podcast. It's called The Retrieval. I know it's on Spotify. I think it's some other places too, but it it's so messed up. It's the, the real case of this nurse who was caught um, stealing fentanyl and replacing it with saline um, and all these women who were going through IVF were not getting the proper medication when they were getting the retrieval done. It's so messed up and uh, just, yeah, that's what I've been listening to lately. And yeah, definitely gonna have the headphones on for that because it's a little intense. But that is going to be it for this week's vlog. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you come back on Sunday so you can see the what's for dinner. I'll be showing step by step how I made those chicken enchiladas. And I hope you'll have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. And I will see you Sunday.